Well, hello there. Welcome back to Randy Radio, and you are listening to the Randy Pontiff himself. Um, on this episode, I would like us to talk about angry sex. Yes, I want to talk about all that passionate fighting turned erotic. In relationships, there'll tend to be fights. Some passive, and some will be very heated. And I want to talk to you about how to turn that negative energy around and remind you to fight for something and not fight each other. Got it? So does your anger sometimes turn you on? Do you like her feisty? Do you like her starting up some shit just to get your attention and then have some mad makeout session? I wonder what a blowjob will feel like in the middle of an argument. And Baby, you're doing this to me. It's unfair. Then zip. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> hmm, a man can dream. So this, however, does not mean that you should use the sex or lack thereof to manipulate. Um, that is abusive. You can play rough, but ease into it so that at least you seek consent. Be gentle at first. Then. If they respond with the same energy you're starting with, go for it headlong. And you don't want to hurt your person's emotions further by making them feel like they are being used. And uh, to some point it can turn into rape if you're not careful. So don't kill the vibe. Be a good person. (laughs) Yeah. So... The point is to channel the negative energy and remind yourself that you are fighting for something. You truly have something to fight for, not fighting each other. You know, don't fight to win. Fight so that your voice can be heard and your concerns can be addressed. And much later when you've blown the steam off, you'll have cooler heads and you can revisit the issues and deal with them in a civil manner. Now, what would have been an otherwise tragic breakup will be averted and I must add that it may be the greatest sex you'll ever have. Oh, believe me, shit. Angry sex just has some adrenaline pumping. You don't know what's going to happen next or where. And uh, things just go off script real fast. And if you're not careful, they can go south just as fast as they did go north and uh, my point here is that uh, a little moderation on some things don't let the anger be the be what drives you let it be channeled into something positive i know it's angry sex but if you let the anger be the lead here you'd end up hurting your person for no good reason and that will just start some other issues and maybe that it won't help resolve the the ones you had to begin with so uh i don't know about you guys but it sometimes i think it sometimes gets addictive and you start feeling that boner coming on when she raises her voice just a little bit or you start craving his lips when he gets stunned with you. You know, a daddy complex kicks in and you go <laughs> you go for it, hoping he punishes the naughty girl out of you. You know, a little BDSM never killed anyone. And it's, it's actually a good way to explore conflict resolution. Yeah, uh, I haven't tried it, so that's why I gag. But <laughs> I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear your stories. So... Please tell me about your angry sex stories. Even better, put it in writing and email it to me on pontifrandi at gmail.com. Then we can have you on the guest section. If you've never read anything on the guest section, trust me, it's lit. Just as lit as the normal section where I put my stuff. So, thank you for listening in today. Uh, You have have been with me, Randy Pontiff on the Randy Radio. And until next time, bye.